Hey, what's up, buckos and buckaroos, nerds and dorks, and gamers and weirdos? How's it going? It's Nintendol, and it is time for a very long promised episode. I've been talking about doing a toy pickup for so long that I have probably at least four or five that I could do. Um, I already filmed another one, so you're going to have another one coming at some point soon. But yeah, this is a random menagerie of crazy things. Some were gifts. I will be sure to tell you who gave me the gifts. Some of these are really old gifts. There's a couple of things in here that are like over two years old, but I just haven't done a toy pickup video in so long. Uh, but I do want to say that some people got me some G.I. Joe stuff, a couple people, and uh, that stuff's going to be shown in a separate episode where I show all of my G.I. Joe pickups because I've gotten quite a few things uh, over the last you know year or so. So that's about it. I think that's all I have to say, except for follow me on Twitter. Nintendo there. Uh, I'm streaming Axiom Verge 2, and then very soon I'm going to be streaming one of my absolute favorite 16-bit games ever. And uh, yeah, it should be a good time, so be sure to follow me on Twitter. That would be, not Twitter, Twitch. What am I talking about? Twitch, not Twitter. I don't use Twitter. I don't use Twitter. I'm, I'm not a Twitter guy. So Twitch. Twitch. Follow me on Twitch. I'm there. You get the voices. You get everything. So yeah, follow me on Twitch and uh, subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. So without further ado, this is kind of a long video. Let's get to the toys. Okay, let's get this party started. First of all, we got a couple wrestling figures. I don't normally collect wrestling figures. However, these were in such good shape and they were just in lots of other toys. So, uh, but I think I'm keeping both of these. I'm not really positive, but uh, first of all, we've got Brutus the Barber Beefcake. And he's in decent shape, not too bad. A little bit of wear on his knuckles and, you know, wear in other spots. But, you know, he's one of the uh, Titans. Uh, I think they're actually Hasbro. I swear they're Hasbro, but on the back they say, like, uh, let me see, 1990 Titan Sports. Uh, but, yeah, everybody remembers these, like, little spring-loaded dudes. And, you know, they jump up, and uh, he's got his classic pose. Pretty awesome. So we got that guy. And definitely the better one. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time. So much cocaine! So much cocaine! Uh, I've got Ultimate Warrior here. And he's in excellent, excellent shape. Such good shape. Yes, I'm definitely keeping this one. And uh, he's also one of the Spring Loader guys. And he is the same year or 91? Nope, also 1990. So uh, such good shape. I uh, have to keep him. Like I said, I don't normally collect wrestling figures, but these two are oldies and something that I never really run across. It's crazy that I ran across two of them. Okay, moving on. Here's something random. Uh, somebody that watches the channel, uh, Palami, on Twitch. She's a different name, but uh, anyways, my friend Catherine. Uh, she gave me actually a bunch of random swag, including possibly this mouse pad no i don't think this mouse pad maybe not but anyways a uh, little fender figure i think this actually is from like a loot crate but i love that he's smoking a cigar uh cool little fender guy it says matt groaning on the bottom pretty cool so thank you for that Catherine. uh this was in a random uh, like garage sale or something like that and it was like literally like 25 cents or something like that i think i picked up other things at this yard sale but i was like man is that a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, or is that like He-Man, or man, it looks so familiar, but I couldn't figure out what it was from. And um, turns out this is a Disney Pixar. Um, yeah, Disney Pixar. Uh, I'm not. Sure. I don't think I see a year there. Yeah, but this is actually from one of the Toy Story movies, and he actually goes for like ten bucks or more online. He's a pretty cool figure. I mean, he looks so much like a He-Man figure, and his wings go up. I mean. He's in great shape. I think he had a gun or a weapon of some kind, uh, but I didn't get that, unfortunately. But still, pretty damn cool for, like, I'm pretty sure he was 25 cents. <laughs> okay, moving on. We've got a random Star Wars figure. I mean, this guy, I don't even know who he is. I just randomly found him really recently. He was in a bin of stuff. If anybody knows what his name is, let me know in the comments. But, uh, yeah, he's kind of cool. I like his armor. Oh, this is... For a minute, I did recognize him. I feel like he's in... Uh, Phantom Menace, maybe? Man, I can't remember. Anyways. Random Star Wars guy. Then we've got... Uh, this was a really cool find, because it was cheap, and it's like, I don't really run into these two guys too often. Uh, not the really old ones, but we've got a Spawn figure here. Nice McFarlane figure. It doesn't have any accessories or anything like that. I don't know if he had a belt or something. Looks like he maybe had a belt. 
I don't care. He's so cool. I've never had this guy. And he's like one of the old ones, if I remember correctly. Let me see if I can see a date. Oh, actually, you know what? Probably easy to use the video. There we go. 1994. TMP Toys. So, um, yeah, definitely cool. Kind of part of my teen years. Uh, in fact, I used to have a lot of Spawn guys, and I don't have them anymore. So, yep, there's that guy. And let's see. Moving on. This one's pretty cool. Does anybody does anybody remember these Lego guys? These guys are super cool. So they're, these are the Lego dudes that are from the Technic series. And um, I think they only came out for a few years. I'm not sure if there's a year on this or not. Um, it says Lego. Lego. Yeah, I'm not sure there's going to be a year because it's usually by parts. But this, has got, this guy's like an action figure. But his visor comes up. His helmet comes off. I mean, they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. There was like an, they were like action adventure dudes, and one, one of them like drove like a snowmobile or a snowcat or something like that. And there was like a motorcycle guy, and um, yeah, I'm pretty sure there was a few of those dudes, but I've never run into those guys before. So pretty cool. Okay, I uh, got some Dino Rider stuff, which is <laughs> really, really random. Uh, and I got these a while ago. I'm gonna warn you guys. Some of these are pretty old. I probably already said that in the intro, but. Uh, we've got a helmet to a, I think this is the Triceratops, which is the one I had when I was a kid. So that's pretty neat, but it's totally, like, sun damaged. But pretty cool. If anybody needs this, let me know. Neat little accessory. Uh, and then we've got a couple random accessories. And I would put these on these guys' arms, but this one's broken a little bit. Uh, it's the little binoculars. Man, this film is really good. <laughs> this film's really good up close with the light on. Nice. Uh, but anyways, little binoculars. And then we've got... One of the bow and arrow things, but I don't know why it's orange. Can anybody tell me why this is orange and not red? Is there another set or something? Or maybe this was a uh, used in another toy line and it was just the same, like, mold or something? I'm not sure, but usually the weapons are this color. I don't know why it's orange. And then we've got two dudes, actually, and they're different. Both of them are different. Um, they're from the same line. They're the, they're the bad guys. Uh, but if you see, their outfits are different. And that's pretty cool. So maybe one's like a commander or something. And one's just like an officer. And then we've got the little bazooka with one of them, which is really neat. Man, these guys bring me back. I used to have just the Triceratops. Um, and then maybe a, a figure or two that came with it. And I loved it. I had them fight my battle beasts all the time. And speaking of battle beasts, what a great transition. Um, you're probably wondering why I'm showing battle beasts. Because most of you probably know I have all the battle beasts. But... I didn't notice one very weird glaring issue in my Battle Beasts, and I had this guy, and he had two two right arms, and so he didn't have a special arm, and I, I somehow never noticed it before. It looked, I just I somehow missed it, you know, because there are Battle Beasts that don't have weapon arms, and so I was like, I don't know, maybe I just, I just didn't notice it. I have no idea, but anyways, I did notice it uh, quite a while ago, I think when I was moving, so over a year ago, like I said, some of these are really old, uh, but th actually, this pickup is not old, this is a new pickup, I got this from the Battle Beast dude, and man, this shows up really good, uh, he's in great shape, his rub symbol kind of works, I might try to do a transplant with my old one, actually, you know what, the more time goes on, the more the more better it works, so not bad. He's wood, obviously, and he's in great shape. So there we go. I have all my battle beasts with all their correct limbs. <laughs> We're just going to put him right back where he goes back here. And moving on, um, got a couple of, of course, there's some gaming stuff in here. Only a couple, though. I uh, got a few Hot Wheels that are uh, game-related. We've got uh, the Yoshi cart which is pretty cool and then we got another yoshi cart but it's different and then we've got this cute ass freaking amazing toad in a shoe holy crap that is adorable it's so cute okay so we got those three guys okay so probably the part that uh cm retro gaming wants to see definitely the micro machines i actually asked him about this one because i didn't know that micro machines came in plastic uh, I know it's probably hard for you guys to tell, but this is a micro machine and it's plastic. It's not metal. Man, there's a little fuzz that I can see and I can't get it off. Um, so yeah, I asked him about it and he was like, yeah, there's micro machines that are plastic and it's pretty cool because it's got landing gear that actually open. 
and close and yeah pretty neat pretty cool little car or plane <laughs> not a, definitely not a car this one i got really recently and i don't know if it's actually a micro machine but it's this little dude on a motorcycle um maybe if crm retro gaming does watch this he can let me know or maybe i did ask him about this and it was i don't remember but it looks like a micro machine sure sure the right size uh, I got this one because, uh, I mean, I got a lot of them, so it just came in it, but some of them I kept, some of them I've traded or sold. In fact, um, a couple did go to CM Retro Gaming, but this one, I call it the Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives car. Uh, yeah, this is so Guy Fieri, so yeah, pretty cool. Really like that one with the flame designs. And then we've got, uh, this dude. I don't know why, I've run into this dude several times. Pretty cool. I like these guys with the little like monster truck wheels They're pretty cool and then this is a fairly recent acquisition the only thing that sucks is there's a little hole right there and i think there used to be a like spoiler on the back i don't have that or if i do it's somewhere who knows where but i don't think so i don't think my mine came with the spoiler but anyways cool lamborghini pretty damn neat who doesn't like lamborghinis give me a break now this one's badass with this cool silver car but this is one of the ones that has the like scene inside and i very highly doubt i can get it to show you guys or i could show you guys what's inside yeah it's impossible but there's a little scene in there uh there's like a couple dudes in there and it's been a while since i looked in there but there's like a whole like view in there it's pretty cool and then these are not micro machines these are nano speed um, I got OR1 and OR4. These are really freaking cool and detailed and about the size of Micro Machines. I don't know why, but I love the short squat designs. And then what's cool is you pull these guys back and they, -ah, they fly off. They're actually pretty fast. They work really well. Um, I'm not even sure what year these are. Do they have a year on them? Ooh, there is something right there at the... 2012? SML. Anyways, these are cool. If I find any more of these, or if anybody finds any more of these, let me know. I actually kind of want to collect these. Okay, so, let's get rid of these. Cars and such. Ah! Vehicles dropping everywhere. Was that Guy Fieri? No, it wasn't. Fieri, sorry. Don't want to insult the Fieri fans. Okay, sorry for the way this is filmed. I really <laughs> wasn't really sure how to film this. <clears throat> okay, um, so my buddy RBK uh, sent me some some snags, some swoops, and we uh, actually I did a couple. Uh, I was gonna say we did trades, but I don't think we did trades. I think I just straight up bought from him. But he threw in some stuff, which was really freaking cool. Uh, so first of all, there's this guy, a little Z-Bot. I like Z-Bots a lot. They're cool. So there's that guy. And then the other two, I'm not positive, are the ones that he gave me, but I'm pretty damn sure that he gave me both of these as well. And they both have the same color scheme. It's funny, it reminds me of the Lego sets, the uh, the ice ones. They have like orange and blue. I can't remember what they're called right now. And then this guy is really cool. He's like this crazy robotic skeleton. Oh man, he's cool. He's super cool. He's got an axe. Really freaking neat. You can always tell Z-Bots by the little symbol. Now the symbols are not always the same, but there will be some kind of symbol on them somewhere. Um, I don't know if this guy has one. Usually they do. <laughs> I could, maybe I just got done lying. But I'm kind of curious if this guy maybe goes to something else because he's got this hole in the top and this square peg. Wondering what that's all about. But yeah, like there's a symbol. Yeah, it's really hard to do that. Uh, but yeah, thanks RBK. So here's the thing. I actually already had this guy. So I've got a double. Uh, so I'm probably going to give that away in a giveaway box. So pass on the love. But uh, RBK did give me other things as well. Uh, including a couple G.I. Joes. But I'm going to save those for a pickup video where I do pretty much all G.I. Joes. So, okay, now we're going to get into the DC comic stuff. I don't really mess with DC comic stuff much, but I saw a couple bags of really cool action figures for pretty damn cheap. 
and I just had to snag them and, uh, you know, maybe for trade fodder or maybe I'll sell them so I can get more games or whatever. There's actually, maybe, there's, yeah, there's like two at least that I'm keeping because I really like them. But I'm not generally in DC stuff, but you know, you know me. If I find stuff at a really good price, I'm going to grab it. And some of these were in a bag for like five bucks. A couple of them were different purchases, but anyways, uh, first of all, we have a Superman here. Um, and he's pretty cool, but his cape is ripped off. Wah, wah. We'll start with the crappy ones first, so wah, wah. got that going on. Uh, same with this guy. He's got a missing piece, too. Uh, we got a Batman, and uh, not a missing piece, broken piece. His little belt here is broken, which sucks. But And I have looked up some of these, and um, I can't remember who they are. I need to write them down, but... If anybody knows what they are, or if you're interested in any, let me know. But there's that Batman. There's a bunch of Batmans in here. And there's this guy, which actually might be my favorite. Except for I don't like... I don't like when they paint the pupils on Batman for some reason. He just looks psychotic and weird. I'd rather just have the plain white eyes. Uh, and both of these guys have the pupils painted on. No, thank you. Uh, but this guy's in really nice shape, and he's got his cape and everything in nice shape. And then we've got this guy, same deal. I think he's also in nice shape. And he does not have pupils, and I do like the way his legs... Do the other guys do that? I don't know. I don't know. This guy... Huh, I wonder what year this is. This one's a Mattel. Uh, I don't see a year on him. I'm not sure, but this guy's... Oh, he had something that went here. Who knows what. These came with no accessories, but no pupils on him. I like that. He's got some really good articulation, actually. Some not, not bad articulation. Pretty cool. That guy actually might be my favorite. He kind of looks like the 1989 movie. Was it 89? I think it's 89. And then we have this psycho bastard. <laughs> like, what the hell? First of all, he's kind of chubby for a Batman. Just kind of thick boy. And, uh... He just, look at his eyes, dude. He's just, I'm psychotic. Brr, I'm the Batman. Brr. He's got a trench coat, so he's extra creepy. I don't know if he's just been, like, leaning up against a wall, being a bum or what, but uh, he's dirty back there. So I, I don't know. Psychotic Batman can be yours if you're interested. Okay, and then we've got a uh, not-Batman figure. We've got, um, this has to be uh, Seaman. Yeah, Seaman from the Sega Dreamcast. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. So he's all done up in his tattoo, tattoos and armor and stuff. And he's definitely some kind of merman thing. Aquaman? Is he Aquaman? Is this Aquaman? It might be Aquaman. I'm not sure, but uh, cool. Pretty neat. Uh, this figure I really like. I... I I might actually keep this one. Uh, I can only assume this is Black Panther. <laughs> In fact, I looked him up, and I'm pretty sure it's Black Panther. It's just been a while. But uh, the purple one, there's, like, different colors. There's a bunch of different variations of this guy. But I really like the, like, texture on him. He's got, like, crazy good texture. And the purple is super nice. Look at that. No pupils. Yeah. This guy's slick, man. He is super, super slick. He just feels cool. I don't know. Pretty neat. Uh, this guy I just got recently. He's a uh, garage sale find, and he was, like, super cheap. Uh, I can't remember his name, but he's got, like, a little jaw, which is neat, and a big-ass tail, which looks like it disconnects, but it doesn't. I'm not sure why it looks like it disconnects back there, but... It do look like that, but he's got shitty articulation. I mean, meh, 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 meh. I am the merman. Meh, 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 meh. Uh, so there's that guy. Okay, here we go into the two <laughs> absolutely crazy ones. Uh, maybe, maybe you guys don't think this is crazy, but when I saw this guy, more like when I felt this guy, I was like, what in the hell is going on here? Why is this guy so heavy? This is a straight-up Man of Steel. This guy is made out of metal. Um, I don't know what else to tell you, <laughs> except for his head and his cape. He is... Li listen to this. He is a brick. He weighs, like, probably half a pound or more. It's crazy. He's just... I don't... I don't know what to tell you. He's just, like, this giant hunk of metal. I mean, you can see with the shine, like, it's crazy. The whole thing whole thing except for his head and his gate 
But yeah, I mean, legs, arms, everything. I <laughs> just so what? Where did this guy come from? Oh, you know what? I'm not sure his hands are actually metal. You can even see the difference there. I think the hands actually might be plastic, too. But other than that, dude, this guy is like... Thunk. <laughs> just like the solidest mass here. You can be gently cradled by this guy. Cradle me! I, 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 I need your love. There, there. It'll, it'll be alright. Okay. Uh, okay, now here's the absolutely crazy one. This video's probably ran too long. Uh, and I do have more after this, but this is the crazy one from the um, DC stuff. <sighs> Let me just blow some dust off him. This is a Build-A-Figure. God, there's not enough room. <laughs> this is a Build-A-Figure. Uh, Batman, I believe it's Samurai Spawn with sword. Um, this guy can go for like $75 online. And uh, I found him at a yard sale. <laughs> and I did not pay much for him. Uh, yeah, so if anybody's interested in this guy and you want to do a trade or something, let me know. I'm not really into DC stuff. That being said, this guy is so cool, and he's really big, too. Uh, he's actually been sitting next to my G.I. Joes in my room uh, because I like him so much. So if anybody's interested in him, let me know. Uh... He's literally the coolest Batman figure I have ever seen, if not the coolest DC figure I have ever seen. So let's move these figures out of the way. Oot. Oot of the way. And let's move on to the Transformers. And to GoBot. However, I am going to warn you, especially if my friend Jake is watching, uh, Jake gave me a couple of these, and he gave these to me, like, two years ago. <laughs> like, maybe even more. Like, it's... I haven't done a pickup video in a very long time when it comes to toys, but let's start off with the GoBot. First of all, <laughs> this is the coolest GoBot ever. Uh, it's huge. It's a really big GoBot, and uh, it's obviously a space shuttle, and he transforms really well. I, I kind of want to transform him for you guys. Let's see if I even can remember how. He feels more like a Transformer than a GoBot, I'm going to be honest. Um, oh, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. There we go. Do his legs extend, maybe? I can't remember. And then... What's cool is this split. And then somehow... There we go. Oh, and the landing gear folds down. Got that down. Boop, 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 and boop. And there you go. Look at this Cylon-looking motherfucker. He's so badass. He's so cool. He looks like a Cylon. I mean, his helmet really does look like a Cylon helmet. So, uh, Battlestar Galactica Space Shuttle... <laughs> of a GoBot. He is so cool. I don't know what his name is. I can't remember. I did look him up and he is just super neat. Super fun. Good stuff. So thank you for that, Jake. Also, Jake definitely gave me this. Uh, it's one of the Predi Predacons? I'm pretty sure these are Predacons. One of the big dudes. And uh, yeah, they all combined together to, to make Predaking. Um, I don't remember this guy's name, but I've always liked these guys and I don't know if I've ever actually had any. Oh, and his mouth moves and he's got an extra head. Man, I got two heads. But, uh, yeah, he's really neat. Always like these guys, so pretty cool. Moving on. Uh, one of these little, uh, mo Monster Con? I feel like these are Monster Cons, possibly. But it's the Piranha standing up looking dude, fish man. And I really like this guy. I don't know why, but I've always loved that guy. And then... This might go to the same set as that last guy, but I don't remember. I, I, I can't remember. Sea cons? These are sea cons. These are monster cons or something like that. These are sea cons. These are not the same set. Okay. But anyways, I got this guy, which is the main guy for the... It's like monster cons or something like that. But uh, yeah, he's really neat. I like him in robot form. He's got a cool helmet. Oh, backwards. Here, I'll just do that. I like his helmet. Very traditional Transformers. Pretty damn neat. He's in pretty good condition. Um, a little sun faded, but that's okay. Pretty sure I got this from Kyle, who used to sell at the flea market until that burnt down, which is so sad. And then this. I had this as a kid, and this is possibly the one that I had as a kid, because I, 
I've had two of these, but I, I, I don't think so. I think this is an upgrade. Um, yeah, yeah, I do remember kind of getting this. In fact, this might have been from Jake also, but a super clean, um, uh, Bruticus. What are they, what do they form? Oh man, drawing a blank right now. Uh, but anyways, those guys, he's from there. Uh, nice working rub symbol and everything, and, uh, I think it works. Maybe it's already too dark to see. Sometimes you rub them for just a second, and it's like, oh, you rubbed it too long. It's dark. Oh, no, I didn't rub it enough. There we go. Nice working rub symbol. Pretty cool. So, yeah, love these guys. He's one of the legs of uh, Bruticus. Okay, so let's move these. And the grand finale, the last one I have for you guys, finally on a toy pickup. You guys finally got a toy pickup. Oh, I want to transform this guy, but... Uh, I just want to be very careful with him. In fact, my cat knocked this off my shelf once already, and I was pissed. <laughs> Fortunately, my cat is super cute, so he gets to live. Uh, but there's a story behind this, but uh, here's the last thing we got. It's this mask vehicle. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Uh, it's got a couple tiny broken pieces uh, right there where the missile goes. It's missing the missile. Missing the missile. Um, and then it's got like a... One of the hinges back here is broke, but if you're careful, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's got the working claw and everything. Uh, this is really cool, and it comes with the dude. I've got the dude with the mask. Yeah, I was going to transform him, but I just want to be careful with him. So the story behind this is uh, do good deeds, and good deeds will maybe come back to you. Um, I found a Craigslist ad for a yard sale. And a lot of people don't troll Craigslist anymore, so I, I tend to find some pretty cool stuff sometimes. And uh, I came across this yard sale that was happening in Northern California, and it specifically said there was a ton of retro toys and even listed some of the stuff. Uh, there were dino riders in there. There were mask things. There was micro machines. There were just... You would not believe... The stuff that was at the sale. So anyways, I had no way to get to Northern California at the time. My car is being kind of funky. So um, yeah, I'm not really driving to Northern California. My girlfriend is at work. So I have a buddy that I trade toys with and buy and sell toys with and stuff. And uh, his name's Jason. And so I got a hold of him. He lives in Northern California. And I said, hey, dude, you should check out this yard sale. And he thanked me and he was like, oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he he went, and he went, and uh, he got everything. He basically bought everything that was cool. He paid uh, a few hundred bucks or more for it. And um, at first, he didn't really say much to me. And I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. He really didn't say much to me. Well, out of the blue, like a week later, sends me a message. He's like, hey, dude, are you home? Got something for you. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, dude, I'm home. Uh, come on by. And he drops this off, and he's like, I... I know you're into mask stuff and you don't have anything, and uh, this is like the coolest one I thought, so I figured I'd give this to you uh, before I trade or sell the rest. Uh, oh, I think he kept some stuff too, but but he just straight up gave that to me uh, because I led him to that garage sale. And this is not an ex this is not a cheap toy. This is like this can go for almost a hundred dollars. I mean, it's very expensive, uh, especially finding it in that shape. So thank you very much for that, Jason. If you happen to be watching, not sure if you watch, but anyways. That's all the pickups for you. Okay, that's it. That's all I have for you guys. Lots and lots of toys. Random Nazaria stuff. Really enjoyed picking up toys. I love picking up toys because, you know, I feel like I've seen most of the games. Like, I'm aware of, at least aware of most of the games out there. Definitely not all. But uh, I've seen so many games. And, like, every time I see a bunch of toys, there's always one I've never seen before. A lot of those DC toys I've never seen before. That giant samurai Batman was super cool. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys. Be sure to follow me on Twitch, not Twitter, not Twitter, Twitch. Uh, it's Nintendo. We're going to be streaming some awesome stuff here soon. And uh, there's another toy pickup video already filmed that'll be coming out soon. And a game pickup video coming out soon. So be sure to subscribe if you are not already. And hit that bell notification so you know when it's out. And like and comment. That would be super sweet. Thank you very much for watching. You guys rule. Keep rocking the retro games and keep rocking the retro toys.